Hi, this is Joanna and today I'm going to create a birthday card and I'm scoring my card base at 4 so this is a quite this is a slight smaller card and the width is 4.5 and, and I'm using Nina Solo White for my card base and here I'm just sizing up my panels and I'm using a blue panel first a card stack then a blue panel then a white panel and I'm going to do some die, die cutting and stamping on this. And I'm using this um, stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And I'm using the cupcake. And I'm going to stamp it um, above each other and just do some really easy copy coloring. So that's why I'm stamping a memento. So I'm just uh, drawing a line. So I will get the uh, cupcakes fairly straight. So here I'm just inking up the cupcake and not the candle. So I'm just stamping them in a line here. So and, and the top one is going to be also with the candle. And then I'm going to stamp my robot because this is a happy birthday card that is going to be sent to a little boy that loves robots and is turning one. So I'm just drawing also a line here so I will get the robot in a straight line compares to comparing to the uh, cupcakes and I'm going to do some die cutting and this is from the same uh, this is coordinated die for the same stamp set but I think the top bubble is too small so I'm just lining it up and I'm cutting it so it's almost double the size because I'm going to make a shaker top bubble so I need this to be a little bit bigger and here I'm just shading my robot, uh, coloring him with Copics, and I'm using a different variety of cool gray to do this. And I think what's really good with Copics is that you can just keep on adding layers of color and it won't ruin your image at all. And if you are a beginner like me, that's really good because it always takes a little bit longer to do the coloring <laughs> if you're not so if you're not really good at it and now here I'm just uh, uh, coloring the cupcakes and I'm just using two different shades of each color for each cupcake so this is even easier than the robot and I'm also using a uh, warm gray at the bottom of the cup cupcake just to shade it just a little bit And now it's time for, for my sentiment. And I'm using this uh, sentiment, it says Beep Bop Happy Birthday, the same as the stamp set actually. And uh, I'm going to emboss this. So I'm using my embossing powder bag to remove anesthetic. So the Versa Mark and the, pow the embossing powder will only stick to the Versa Mark. So I'm just lining up my front panel here so I will get the sentiment in the correct place. And then I'm using my uh, Ranger uh, Detail Embossing Powder and I'm just heat setting this with my heat gun and I'm also using some heat on the back side to prevent this from warping. It did, war it did warp a little bit anyway but uh, it's fine. And here I'm creating my window and I'm using uh, some acetate. Yes, to adhere, and I'm using some glue to adhere it to the back side of my front panel. And I did use a little bit too much glue here, so I'm just, I'm just uh, smearing it out. And here I'm going to uh, create the uh, the place that uh, where I will put my sequence. Uh, but uh, normally I would have used some scotch tape, you know that tape that you can buy in a roll and you can, but my, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of mine <laughs> so I have to use, I have to use this small uh, foam dots instead, foam tape but it, it works, it takes a little bit longer, that's it so here I'm just using some bigger ones as well And here I'm placing my sequence on the card. 
inside of the talk bubble. Yeah, and that works fine, I think. And one sequin was actually broken, <laughs> so I had to remove that. And here I'm removing the the uh, the packaging. And I'm just adhering the front panel. So here's my shaker card. And I'm using my AT, ATG gun to adhere it to uh, my card. And I'm also using some uh, some uh, Rangers uh, stickles. This is Stardust, and the Stardust is uh, really it almost looks the same like the sequins. It has the same glow to them, so they really go good together. And all the supplies I'm using are listed at my blog, heartybyheart.com. And I'm also using some stickles on the robot to match the cupcakes and the sequins. And now I realize that I have no ground for the cupcakes or the robot, so I'm used to using a cool gray shadow, a cool gray marker to make a shadow. And I'm also realizing that I have forgot the bow tie for the for the rob robot. So I'm just stamping this with some memento black ink. And now he's ready to go to a party. And I hope you like this card. And you like the video and if you did don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you bye mm -hmm.